Number 10. Uh, I thought 10 was a pretty hard problem. I don't know. In the xy plane, the set of points whose coordinates satisfy this equation is what? What's this look like if you were to graph this thing? Man, I don't know. Um, I guess a couple of ways you could do it is try to find points. Try to find xy coordinates that appear over here that when you plug them in on both sides give you an equality here. If you can plot a couple of points, maybe you can figure out its shape. That sounds very challenging to me. I don't think that would be easy to do at all. Uh, maybe you're lucky enough and you can find a few. Um, but even then, it might be hard to tell what your shape is, and that doesn't seem like a very efficient way to solve this. The way this made sense to me is by recognizing the distance formula. So the distance formula tells me that the distance between two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, is given by the square root of the sum of the squares of the differences in those coordinates. I think I said that all right. This is the distance formula. It shows you how far um, how far it is between the point x1, y1 and x2, y2. So if you recognize that this and this both kind of look like this, right? This over here is the distance formula. Specifically, it tells you how far x, y is away from the point negative 3, positive 2. And this tells you how far x, y is from the point positive 3, 0. Now, so really what this is asking you is for the set of all points, x comma y, that are equidistant, that the distance from this point is the same as the distance from this point. So I have my graph here, and I got negative 3, 2. It's talking about this guy right here. And I have 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0. And what I'm looking for are a bunch of points where the distance from my point to either of these guys is the exact same. Well, one point where that would be true would be the midpoint of these two guys. Uh, the midpoint of these two guys, I think, ends up being right here, halfway in between those two guys. And then kind of if you move perpendicular to the line segment connecting those two points, there's a horrible drawing. If you move anywhere on this kind of perpendicular line, if I move up here, the distance to that point will be the exact same as the distance to this point. You can convince yourself of that by like a Pythagorean theorem argument that if this is the same as this, and this in this triangle is the same as this in that triangle, I have two right triangles with equal length legs, so their hypotenuses, hypotenai, I don't know, must be the same. Uh, so this distance is the same as this distance. The point that I'm making is that this point right here will be in your solution set as well, as will any point on this line any point. Uh, so in the xy plane, the set of all points whose coordinates satisfy this equation is what? Oh, it's just a line. Surprise me, but it is just a line. Uh, specifically, it's the line perpendicular, it's the perpendicular bisector to the line segment connecting these two points. But you don't got to do all that, you just got to tell it what shape it has, and the shape is a line.